we're going to be talking about how hypermobility of the disc and how it relates to a cascade of events to occur. So when we're talking about hypermobility, we're talking about a little bit more movement in the disc itself. So if you observe this disc here, it's actually had a bit of a disc injury. And so as a result, you see a little bit more movement taking place there versus this disc here, which hasn't had an injury. And as you can see, very minimal movement there. Now, the disc injury results from the disc having delaminations to the annulus, which is the outside covering of the uh, disc itself. So the gel, which is meant to be contained in the middle there, because those uh, fibers have become a bit delaminated, so it means there's little gaps that form, now that gel, when pressurized, can start to work its way through those little gaps. Okay, now that results in the disc losing some of its height and also losing some of its ability to bear load and stiffen up, which is why the disc can move a little bit more than it should. Okay. Now, that might not necessarily cause pain, but what it does is changes the biomechanics of how the spine works. So, for example, when we have a disc that loses some of its stability, what we can see is that the facet joints, which are these guys at the back of the spine, can now start to be a bit grumpy because they're taking a lot more load, right? Because as we see when we're loading through the disc there, because it's lost that stiffness or ability to bear load well, we start to load on those facet joints. So you can end up causing things like uh, facet joint irritation. On top of that, those micro movements, as we said, they can actually cause pain. So when you're getting up or moving and you get a quick sh uh, shot of pain, that can happen from the micro movements or micro instability of the spine. So for example, if you're lying down in bed and you go to twist and roll over, because that disc moves a little bit more than it should, that's where we can get a sharp catch of pain. Or again, if you take a look at the back, that twisting, because it moves a little bit more, we can get those facet joints that are irritated as well.